Hey, Nate, uh, congratulations. Welcome to Las Vegas. Um, did you have uh, talks with the Raiders prior during the draft process? And and did you feel like that was a landing spot, potential landing spot for you? Um, yes, I had um, two interviews with the Raiders. And the first one just went so well. It was great energy. And I, I definitely felt like that was a team that wanted to take a chance on me just because of the great energy. And they were so ecstatic in the interview. Hey, Nate, it's Tashawn Reed from The Athletic. I know you played a little bit both inside and outside in college, but when you are at that slot corner role, what do you think you bring to the table? Um, I think I bring a lot of physicality, um, size, speed, um, and matchup ability to the table. Um, in that slot, uh, I am a versatile guy, I feel like, so in that slot I can match up with a smaller, faster guy in the slot or – you know, if they move a guy outside receiver in the slot, I can match up with him also. And I think I'm a guy who can blitz, who can uh, recognize coverages, sit back in zone, man, everything. I think I'm pretty versatile. Hi, hi Nick. Um, you you had said recently that you um, you embrace the underdog role. Why why do you uh, why do you like the underdog role so much? Um, that's just what I've been all my life. Uh, I don't know nothing else. Um, I came into high school. Um, I didn't. I didn't play varsity till my junior year. A lot of people didn't know who I I was, and I got on the scene quick and, and made made the most of of that. Um, got to college. I w I wasn't a high recruit. I was about a two star. I um, only had one Power Five offer. Um, I made noise when I was in college. Uh, that got me to the position where I am now. And uh, I was a fifth round draft pick. Um, thankful to God. Um, I'm just so thankful to the Raiders organization for taking a a, a, a chance on me. But I, I won't forget that. I won't forget the guys who are taken before me. Um, the guys um, who I feel like didn't do as much as me, but were, were still picked up. And I'm just so thankful for the the Raiders for taking a chance. They won't regret it. They getting the best underdog they ever drafted. For real. Nate, this is Hondo Carpenter from Sports Illustrated. I've actually covered a few of your games that you played in earlier in your career. And one thing that stuck out is you play defensive back with a linebacker mentality. Mm -hmm. um, very tough. You put your, a lot of defensive backs don't like to get up and get dirty and get physical. You do. Would you talk about that part of your game and how much did the Raiders tell you they like that about you? Um. Really, that 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 part of my game, I think it just comes from where I where I, where I come from, where I've been. Um, I, I went through a lot of adversity in my life, and I think that shows the way I play. I play with passion. I play with um, want to, and when I'm on the field, I, I don't. I, I'm going to enforce my will. I'm not going to let that happen because I feel like in football, one guy's enforcing and one guy's taking, it, and I'm gonna be the one that that takes it, not not receives. And um, the Raiders, they 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 like that a lot about me. I think that's the one one reason why they think I could play nickel. Um, I could be a cover guy and a tackle, uh, playing between the tackles, and just uh, be a versatile guy for them. Levi Edwards with uh, Raiders.com. Welcome to Vegas. Uh, a word that you just mentioned uh, in that previous question was uh, adversity. And you definitely have described yourself as going through a lot of adversity. What would you say is the biggest piece of adversity or the biggest obstacle that you have to come through to get to this point, whether it be on or off the field? Um, for sure. Um, my uncle, um, well, my father passed away when I was about 12 years old. And um, I, we was already, uh, my mother, she raised me, my little brother, my little sister, my big brother, off $25,000 a year. Um, that's, that's four people under one roof and without a father. And I just, you know, I had to, I had to come up with that and grow up fast. And then my uncle, who's a, who's an influence in my life, a big influence, uh, for, um, a father figure who's to come to all my college games. He's passed away this, this past year. And my, my granny, she also died from cancer the year before that. So I've just, you know, I've, I've, I've had to deal with some some adversity and things like that. And I've had four college coaches at Illinois, uh, position coaches, but all that, none of that can stop me. I don't feel like, I feel like um, God's put me in this position for a reason. And as long as I'm not dead, as long as I'm still here, I'm going to keep going. So that's what that means to me.
Hey, Nate, first of all, uh, my condolences on all the, on, the, on those losses uh, and for coming through uh, strong uh, as you have. Um, yes, sir. Lovey Smith, uh, I would imagine, uh, you know, he kind of took you under your wings. That, that, that dude's a pretty much an expert, uh, especially in the secondary. Uh, how much of an influence playing for him um, uh, did he have for you? Um, Lovey, Coach, Coach Lovey Smith, he was a, he was, he's a vital role to my success right now. He gave me the chance, um, that, that put me on this platform that, that allowed me to get drafted right now and, 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 and give me this chance. Cause without, without him giving me that chance at Illinois, I wouldn't be here. And he's taught me a lot about the game of football and him being an NFL coach. I feel like I'm already on that NFL level mindset wise. And I know how to carry myself like an NFL guy on and off the field. And I'm a little bit ahead of the curve when it comes to NFL, the way things go. Because I've had, a, you know, NFL Hall of Fame caliber NFL coach coaching me. So um, a lot of a lot of my success I can uh, attribute to him. And I'm, I'm really thankful for that. Nate, uh, Levi Damian again from USA Today. Um, you, you went to the same high school as uh, Michael Bush, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. So how, how much you know about him and how crazy is it that mm-hmm. you're basically taking the same path to the pros as he is? That's did. really crazy. That's really crazy. Um, he went to Mill, went to college at Louisville and um, um, taking the same path. I, he was at the Raiders, wasn't he? Hello? He was. He was with the Raiders. Yeah, but- I was, uh, that's what I was saying. Yes. I, had to, I had to make sure I was right. But yeah, he was at the Raiders, so that that's crazy. Um. We from the same place and really taking the same path, like you said. And uh, I just think it's all God's plan, and I'm really appreciative too. I'm gonna have to reach out to him, and you know, thanks, thank, give thanks for him for paving the way. And man, you you talked about uh, what this moment means to get drafted. What was the what was it like? Just kind of after you take a breath, you you hear what happened, we hear, hear what team you're going to, and then you get to just kind of look around and, and think about the moment. Man, it was it was so it was it was it was life changing. It was crazy. I'll never forget that moment. Um, I, I got the call and it was John Gruden. And it was crazy. I didn't even know what to say. I'm just like, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Everything he said, I said yes, sir, because I was just trying to, you know, trying not to 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 let emotions take me over. But it's a it's a moment I'll never forget.